In this tutorial, I'm going to do completing the square where there's no solution and describe what that means and how that works. The equation I'm going to solve is x squared plus 4x plus 5, and I'll set this all equal to 0. I'll move the 5 to the other side of the equation, and I do this by subtracting 5 from both sides of the equation. Those 5's cancel. This leaves me with x squared plus 4x is equal to negative 5. Now I focus in on that 4 in front of that x, and I will complete the square. And so I take that 4, and I multiply it times 1 half. So it's 1 half times 4, and this is equal to 2. I take that 2, and I square it, which is equal to 4. I add that 4 to both sides of the equation, which gives me x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to negative 1. I factor the left-hand side of the equation, which gives me x plus 2 times x plus 2. This all equals to negative 1. I rewrite this as x plus 2 squared is equal to negative 1. I take the square root of both sides of the equation. And here I have a problem. Can't take the square root of negative 1. So I conclude there's no solution. I could have concluded that right there. As soon as I see this x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to negative 1, I stop because there's no solution. If I graph this equation, if I graph x squared plus 4x plus 5, the graph looks like this. Let me draw in the x and y. Notice it never touches or crosses the x-axis. That's what it means there's no solution. Again, as soon as you get to where there's a negative number on the right-hand side, you can stop. So if you have comments or questions or requests, put them in the comments section below. In fact, this video came via a Twitter request. And I would encourage you to subscribe because I'm always posting new videos. And I have a playlist with all the theory of completing the square. So if you want to do something beyond just learning how to solve equations, click on the playlist.